our goal is to make it into the Europa League, which we are currently uh, four points out of. So it's a very reasonable goal for us to have. Now, we are interested. Uh, obviously, we've built an entire coaching staff. We're hoping joins us in the next couple of days. We're looking at the transfers. Uh, ye old transfer window. Oh, yeah. There was just the small matter of uh, of signing, you know, Yanis Constant. What, what's his name? Constantelius. Hi, Yanis. Hi. I know. I know you didn't want to talk to me when I was at Saint Etienne. But how do you feel about? So he has a release clause to foreign clubs at twenty four million. Our budget balanced. Our offer out for no. You do not want to be an important player. You are so lying to me. There's simply no way that you want to be an important player at this level. There's no way. Oh, my God. Yannis! Thank goodness. Keep it moving, Buster. Keep it moving. There you go, Yannis Constantelius. That is a reasonable wage impact, unlike all of the other freaking dudes on this team. So we've offered a couple of guys out, by the way. We have, uh, we offered out Rodrigo Bentoncourt. Uh, we offered out uh, Pape Matarsar. Uh, Quentin Timber is transfer listed by request. We offered him out. We offered out Lee Kong In as well. We are interested. I, I don't know what kind of offers we're going to be able to get for those guys. But we are exploring... Potential deals that will add a lot of money to our transfer budget and or relieve us of some serious wage investment that we have in various positions. So this is going to be a very exciting transfer window where we're going to try quickly build up our team. We're trying to put our staff together in the middle of the heart of the later part of December, which is a nightmare in this part of the world. We have our first Premier League match against a team that is not Arsenal which means we are going to use a formation that gives us a chance to actually go out and dominate the match today. Should be ready to rock and ready to freaking roll. Guerra's going to be sailing forward. The wingers are going to drop and pick the ball up a little bit better, and Basuma's hanging out there. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, I see. I see the vision. Can I get Nicholas Audrin in there? Just some pace, please. We'll go with him and as later in the match, but if I can get Audrin for now, that'd be amazing. All right, that's good. I think we'll be all right. Let's, let's, uh... Yeah, let's rock and roll, baby. Let's bring it rock and roll. Oh, yeah. We are in the Premier League. We seek victory today. We seek victory against mid-table Brentford, who's actually two, two points behind us. We've got serious matches in hand, though. We have serious matches in hand. Big moment, my debut at the new White Hart Lane. Tottenham in our glorious white uniforms. We begin. Okay, get faced up, good. Make a play against Salawanasio. That That will do, Haroldson. The Icelandic Messi, some are calling him. Javi Guerra. Oh, it's slick for second. It was there in the middle. He didn't see it. Guerra! So this team's a little bit better than any team we've ever coached before. All right, Seca, look for Haroldson here. Good. Good turn. Go, Haroldson! Oh! Okay. Young kid's not bringing the heat right now. We're going to take him off. We're going to try not to play as direct because we don't have a pace. So we're going to try and play really high tempo, force the ball up the field quickly, but not as direct. We're bringing in Jimenez at striker. Let's just find that breakthrough. Let's just find that goal. I'm playing this short, and I hope. Yeah, we are. Oh, Seca. Jimenez. Surely. Santiago Jimenez. Yeah, we do, do we deserve a second? Uh, maybe, probably, but I am happy with back-to-back -back clean sheets if we can finish it off. Because we played, you know, front-footed defense this entire game. Okay, that's fine. 
Not a bad foul at this point in the match. A veteran play by Bentoncourt. <laughs> Servalor, thank you for the 44 months, brother. That is a long time. Peace, joy. Thank you for the four months. Good day. Oh, good day. Good eye, mate. One win at a time. Still have the match in hand on literally everybody in the entire table. Don't know how that works, but we needed that. We can start to build something productive. All right, Newcastle just offered us $91 million for Dejan Kulazewski. I'm going to try 175 We have the Saudi teams that are interested. I think that's where Kulazewski wants to go, and we could get a giant paycheck from him. All right, guys, Yanis Constantelius. We need players like Yanis Constantelius on this team. Is he good enough for this level? Yeah, he absolutely is. Yeah, he absolutely is. Very, very creative. Excellent ball control. Sees the pass. He fits in the, like, so he is not when everybody's fit. He actually is. He's better than Haroldson right now. He's better than Hakon Haroldson. So he'd, uh, we'd start him over Hakon Haroldson if everybody's fit off the left side. But we are adding, especially if, like, Kulazevsky goes, we need people that can play in those spots. Uh, Jonathan David is a shadow striker, and then Javi Guerra's got to start today. Javi Guerra has to start today. Huck and Haroldson can play. Second, Kulazevsky are not able to go a full 90. I, I'm, I'm really just desperate to get to, like, January 6th because then we're going to get our staff in. I'm going to feel a lot more comfortable because we're not really doing training yet right now. Uh, yeah, let's prove that criticism of our play wrong. This is on the road against a better team than we just played, apparently. Bournemouth is in ninth and has had a very good season. We are, Our team's a bit watered down. We don't have the, uh, the star available. But if we can start hanging up three points in matches, we've got Crystal Palace after this should be very winnable, but every match in the Premier League is very difficult is the amount of money that gets going in the game, especially at this point. Rodrigo Bentoncourt. Oh, great pass to Javi Guerra. A great delivery to Hakon Haroldson. Terrible ball by him, but we're we're moving. We're alive. We just missed like three consecutive cutout opportunities, but you know, it's fine. Uh I mean. That was a good first 26 minutes and a bad that's the first goal we've allowed in our third match in charge, so. All right, Mickey. Oh, get that inside. Oh, hello. Hello, Mickey. Guerra. Oh, my goodness, Mikey Moore. Goal! That's what we do. It's a new era. That's what we do. Oh, there you go, Rico. Own that. Oh, no. Great sportsmanship, dude. Yeah, great sportsmanship there. Wow. Wow. Unbelievable. I have never seen that at FM. Uh, incredible sportsmanship. Dude literally had the ball intercepted. And then my right back, who would stepped in front of it, gets hurt. And they just go right down my right wing. And, of course, we don't have enough people there because my right back is laying on the other side of the field. I mean, I, there's literally nothing I can do about that. That is, there would be riots if that happened in real life. That is a joke of a goal there. Anasio, Bentoncourt, Moore. That's tough for Seca to deal with. He's done very well. Moore, Seca. Oh, yo, let's go, baby. Come on now. 2-2. Two, two. 30 minutes to chase the win. Let's go. This is the Premier League slog, dude. They've got quality. They take advantage of... Uh, opportunities mistakes misfortune we've got the quality too more seca that's why we got our difference makers on the field jimenez crushing it oh let's go where's vandevin oh and it's who's con goodness gracious
All right, after after this after this shout, we'll wait, we'll wait till the end of this shout. And I'm gonna move Javi Guerra. The shout's really lasting. It's Gonzalo Inacio on the set piece, battling all the way home. Absolutely brilliant for Gonzalo Inacio. We can hold this seven points from the first three matches, including that draw away against Arsenal. What a header by Gonzalo Inacio. Be bold, be brave with the defense. Get in front of those passes. Don't let them build up their play. Eight minutes? Good God, man. That sucks. Oh. Vicario came out and couldn't get it. He had a bad match before that. His match rating is going to be real bad now. Uh, I mean, we hadn't allowed a goal in the first two matches, and we gave up three. Obviously, the second and the third goal were both... Um, I mean, the second one was because Rico Lewis pulled a hamstring with the ball, and they literally just ran behind him. Uh, and the third one was just Vicario having a bad day. Could have been a very, very nice feeling win. Instead, it's a draw. And we continue. Cleaning up our fixture congestion exactly as I always dreamed. Without a coaching staff. And before the transfer window, and we have an opportunity to impact the team. All right, we have Preston in the FA Cup. So we could, we could string two wins together here. We, we should expect to string two wins together here. That would be incre like incredibly helpful. Because we want to build up that leadership support as well. We want to get the atmosphere going. We want to get the vibes moving in the right direction. Get a couple of wins. Where's Constantelius? I just want him on the bench. Man, this team is a mess. Like, registration-wise, such a mess. All right, team's ready. Vicario, Kyode, Vuskovic, Inacio, Uzkan, uh, Bentoncourt, Bissuma, Kulazevsky, Seca, Haroldson. Actually, where's... Uh, oh. Sorry, is not registered. The, the team is ready for our January 1st showdown, New Year's Day, Crystal Palace. Yanis Constantelius. He gets 19, the Greek guy. The Greek League star is here. We don't want to throw him into the lineup, but... We will have him off the bench as somebody that can provide a spark for... for Four draws in our last five. Yeah, okay. Nice, Vushkovich. Bisuma. Oh, he's going for it. It's Bentoncourt. It's absolutely disgusting. It's Manchester City-esque from Tottenham at the new White Hart Lane. Santi Jimenez has proven me wrong. He's playing really well right now. Surprisingly good run by Bentoncourt in this situation. Drops it off perfectly. Get it to Inacio. He is much better with the ball than you are. Oh, nice pass. Nice. Santi Jimenez. Rival Hugh, thank you for the prime. Walshy, thank you for the prime. We, that's $10 of Jeff Bezos. How did he not score? <gasps> Dear Lord. That's like a Scott Sterling clip, dude, where the ball just keeps finding him. Volley from point blank range straight off the forehead. Like, all right, somebody's going to be freaking exhausted. By somebody, I mean probably everybody. So, debut time. It's Yanis Constantelius. Uzkan and Inacio. I'll get Uzkan a little later for the young uh, fullback. If I can, we've got a little complacency, which, and that combined with an immediate highlight, I hate. That is, oh my goodness. Oh, let's go, Uzgun. Yanis. Oh, it's Jonathan David. 
Oh, it's still Jonathan. Oh, that's so unlucky. How does it hit the post like that and not go in? Gara. Oh, what? Who's gone? Surely not a third. The goalkeeper that took that Uzcon volley off the dome, yeah. That dude's face, that could withstand a nuclear blast if he survived that. That would hurt so much. Oh, yeah, he was letting that roll into the box, too. That was well done. It's three points, dude. That's three points. Could have been much more comfortable in the end than it was, but that is three points, and we are happy we got it. We gave the po we, we gave the post a new tattoo. Dude, how am I can't get out of 11th? I have a match in hand on everybody still. Somehow, I cannot get out of 11th. I'm like Chelsea. Win, lose, or draw, baby. We are just in 11th place. We are in the transfer window, which means it is showtime. Can I recall Ashley Phillips? Gives us another center back option for the... Uh, back part of the season i'm assuming he yeah he, i already checked he has homegrown ashley phillips is trained in nation englishman all the way uh very good athlete very good jumping reach we know those are very you know very important for defending he's not an idiot his technical ability is fine i think we bring him back from marseille uh ashley phillips will return shortly that just adds a guy to our rotation and our squad which at least frees up who's to sub for van Deven at left back more all right, we also need to convince guys that we know are leaving to leave, which I have not done a good job of paying attention to that stuff in the past. This is not an offer I want to take. We have received a transfer for Yassine Uzkan from Real Madrid, which is quite annoying because I really like Yassine Uzkan. The guy has played tremendously in my limited time here. Um, so, no. No. Uh, it's a $66 million up front with even more. I, mean, but I would want more than that 46 up front because we have to remake this team. I'm saying no. He's going to be upset, obviously. I'd be stunned if this guy could talk him out of it, but he might as well give it a shot. Surely you don't want to leave the team as together as ours. Would a pay raise tempt you to stay? Okay, cool. I got out of it without a promise. That was my only goal. Ten people agree? All right. Looks like Uzcon's on the menu. Because normally they don't, like, agree. But now ten pe I guess because they don't like me. I uh, now ten people agree. So, uh, uh, sorry. I need to employ the expert tactics that I have, which would be Lee Kong in wants to leave and I want him to leave and I'm going to make him surplus to requirements. So yeah, we we're going to war short-term loss for long-term gain here. Lee Kong in should have put him on the transfer list before we did that. I thought he already was, um, but we put him as surplus to requirements because we want him to be upset and want to move. I mean, the dude literally wants to leave anyways. So I find that particularly fun. Wants to leave to play in the Champions League, and it's like, yeah, I know. Well, I got eight transfer offers. Something hit. Quentin Timber hit. Lots of loan offers, and we're going to have to dance with this one. We're going to have to dance with this one. So they said 20, 42 total. I'm going to remove both and go for the 40. They might just bounce that. Okay, that's valued at 50. That's 50 million for Timber paid out kind of over the next two years. Just got an offer. Benton Core 35. And that what we offered him out for, so we have to take it. Or, well, he's one of the guys that has a locker room issue. He feels that he needs a new challenge, so we're going to take the 35 million. Who went out on this guy? Newcastle? I'm going. What's his release clause? 22 and a half. We'll have the money by then. Sergio Luis, this 19-year-old Brazilian. He wants the club to be a stepping stone. Okay, we're kind of a big club, though. It was the other team that went for him. It was a team I felt like I get Newcastle. I feel like we might be able to beat them. 
Where are they on this? He has more interest in Newcastle. Oh. All right, Sergio, let's see if we can get you into this team now, huh? Next match, full him away in the league. Okay. Good. We're going to need a bit of time. Okay, there's our team. FA Cup. All right. Ugh. Please rise and remove your caps for the performance of the one, the only, the FA Cup anthem. You may be seated. Uh -uh. You may be seated. Now we're talking. The FA Cup begins our quest for a trophy with Tottenham Hotspur. Oh, Ashley Phillips trying to get himself a goal now that he's back with the team. Madison, all oh, bending it like Beckham. Constantelius in his first start. It's Yanis Constantelius, the Greek god in Preston. Oh, one more banger for the road, Madison. Oh, he hit that pretty well, too. That's a shame. That's some proper goalkeeping going on right there. Some proper goalkeeping. Yeah, if I, if I, if I say, you know, I say. No way. Focus on the possession in the second half, boys. We're down to 10. Coyote decided to sweep the leg, apparently. So I'll only have one sub window after that, so I want to get, um, like, quality in there. I want a playmaker that can be, like, a focal point we're playing out. Constantelius can do that, but Seca's, like, the best player on our team. Get that! Let's go! All right, this is Seca's favorite little spot right here. Constantelius, Yanis, oh, dude. Yanis and Seca are swaggering it up right now. The swagger is off the charts. How is Rico Lewis the best taker? But he is. All right, Rico, go get you a goal. That's that city upbringing. Lewis, easy. That's a 3-0 in the FA Cup on the road, even with a red card. I'm really impressed with that. We made that look really comfortable down a man. I'm really impressed with that. I'm happy with what we just did. I'll clap it up for the boys. Uh, Lee Kong in. Hi, agent. Yes. Nothing I can act on right now. There are teams that might just be sniffing around alone. The issue is the wage. She's getting paid like $11 million a year, which is just crazy. Let me look at an intermediary. Okay. All right, we're willing to explore an intermediary because it really feels like there, you know, there isn't even the interest there. Where with the other guys, there's like interest there or whatever. All right, FA Cup draw, still very early on. We get Villa or Brighton. What a draw, dude. What a sensational fourth round draw that is. At least we're at home. We played very well in New White Hart Lane so far. Hi, YouTube. You're late. Oh, I'm just kidding. Hi. How are you? Welcome to the... Uh, the stream, um, things have gone well so far, uh, and we're, you know, we're enjoying it. 
We went with the, this transfer window is going to be really telling though, and it is not off to a great start. And that I I feel like we're you know the wages that have been handed out at this club are really prohibiting what we're able to do in terms of removing those wages from our team. He is actually so Quinn. Oh my goodness, they're not even adding all the fifty five percent transfer revenue retention. All right, well Quentin Timber's gone. See you later, dude. And a deal that will eventually be $49 million right up front. It's about half that. We've got that German guy from our academy. We have made one sale, chat. We have made one sale. Let's freaking go. <sighs> right, this is Premier League. This is a league match. I forgot that freaking Coyote thing carried over. All right, Vicario, Lewis, Uzcon, Inacio, Vandeven, Guerra, Basuma, Kulazevsky, Seca, Haroldson, and Jimenez. We're expecting dominance. We're playing against the team that's 18th in the league right now. That would be really nice if we just bungled something in on a set piece here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Walking it in. Oh, sick header by Yassine Ishkan. Maybe Real Madrid will actually come in with a decent offer for him so that we can take it and move on. That is a sensational header by Yasin Uzkan. Kulazevsky with a sharp delivery. And Tottenham have broken through at Craven Cottage. Well, we have just made an art out of doing nothing in this match, but all right. Uh, Yanis Constantelius is going to come in for Seca, which is not what I expected to be doing, but it is now what we are doing. Uh, Gonzalo Inacio has not been playing well, and... We're going to go ahead and get him out because he's also on a yellow card and bring in Luka Vushkovic. That is the dumbest substitution in history, so we're not going to do that. We're just going to switch his role to a bit more reserved. Kulisevsky, that's a good ball out for Haroldson. Great touch. Basuma, that could have been a foul. Oh, nice pass. Haroldson, there it is. Hakan Arner Haroldson to make it 2-0. Bentancur. Rodrigo Bentancur. Kulisevsky. Kulisevsky. Oh, it's oh, it's Constantelius! It's Yanis Constantelius! What a start to his career! For Tottenham, two goals in three appearances for Yanis Constantelius. The Greek guy serving up a hero. 3-0. All right, this is the sort of take out the trash, take care of business sort of match on the road against a team battling against relegation. And it looks like we have managed to, to do that. Three points we need to pick up and three points we look like we are picking up. Hey, ref! Referee! Oh, who's this? Jonathan freaking David, dude. That's it, dude. Jonathan David's hurt, but that was a good win and a good performance on the road. Took care of business. Okay. We have moved up to 10th. We still have a match in hand on uh, a lot of the teams we're looking at trying to throw. I mean, look, we are literally with the match in hand. We are, if, if dude, if we beat Manchester City, we can level up on points with them in the match in hand. Like, we are actually... We're right at the back of this giant pack of teams that are just duking it out right now. Three to four weeks, the hamstring strain. That sucks. We're still waiting for Romero. He's five to seven days. I... Uh... Who the hell was running this club? What? Five league appearances. We have to pay twenty million to Lille, making this a ninety-one million dollar signing. Are you are you are are you kidding? Well, we're gonna explore options. We have the whole transfer window because he's not gonna play five more matches and um five more league matches before the end of the transfer window. So we have time to figure out what we're gonna do with that. But that is just another you know. Tottenham size curveball to throw in there that's just hilarious. Um okay. Pape Matsar. We're gonna put him on the transfer list. You might not react. Well. Shut up. That you're being offered out right now. You might not react well to being transfer listed. 
Oh, yeah, you're getting paid $15 million a year. You're robbing us blind, dude. $15 million a year. Uh, all right, City at home, Southampton at home. I'm assuming we also have European matches are going to be in here somewhere. See, like, why you just go sign this guy and he's, like... <laughs> this guy's totally fine, dude. This guy can play at a very similar level to Hakan Arner Haraldson. I mean, straight up. That dude's really average. For our team, yeah. He is really average. But he would cost $2 million and get paid $3 million a year. Which is understandably a freaking good spot to be in. bencor has gone for 35 They wanted to move on for a new challenge. And we're looking to clean up our locker room atmosphere. So Rodrigo Bentoncourt is on the move to Benfica. Looking for a new challenge at 32. All right, team's ready. Same team we had last time, except we will go Constantelius into the team and combine him with Seca. Yeah, Haroldson played well last time out there. Uh, Mastatuano, now that he is in the team, we can put him on the bench, and we are missing a midfielder. Oh, Coyote's back. Nice. Oh, wait, sorry. We have a completely different game plan today. Totally forgot. We are bringing out the flying spaceship. My favorite, a personal favorite of mine, at home against Manchester City. I am aware of the fact that they are better than us. It's time to shut a few people up about the criticism, you know what I'm saying? Let's go, boys! I'm standing up for this. Manchester City in New White Hart Lane. Oh, Mickey. Oh, Gonzalo, let's go. Oh, let's go. Oh, Mata, sorry, you freaking missed him. That's unfortunate. I need to settle into this game because I got a highlight almost immediately. That match we played at Arsenal, there were like almost no highlights in that game. This tactic is, or at least was in that one instance, very good at removing highlights. It's very congested. We don't look to be super aggressive where we give the ball over in a spot that would cause problems for us. Van Deven, love that. Oh, he's there. Okay. We, we're, we're getting a few decent looks here. Let's make that count. Seca, you haven't really done much. I'll take a pen if you want to give it. Oh, my good. Keone! Oh, hero ball, Lewis. Javi Guerra, one more. Keone, who fancies himself an Aryan Robin moment, apparently. Rico, so stupid. Zero XG on that. Just a flat zero. Don't even move the graph. Literally no, no chance. He's offside again. This one I did not see. I, uh, but I don't know why we're getting dominated by Erling Holland in the air. That's the only issue our defense has had. We have very good tall center backs, and yet, okay, he's the. 3D match engine showed him onside. The 2D match engine has him offside. Okay. All right, so it's Audrin, Seca, Mastrano, Guerra, Eberts. All right, come on, guys. We got a few minutes. We made one change that we thought was going to help us chase the match. It did not. Maybe this change will. This would be a ridiculous... Oh, my... No! Maybe just Audrin. It's Mastin Toronto. It's Mastin Tuono. It's Audrey. Oh, it's the youngster. Unbelievable. It's Nicholas Audrey. It's his first senior goal against Manchester City. And we stay undefeated as Tottenham's head coach, Nicholas Audrey. Yes. You, you don't know, you know, you don't come into New White Hart Lane expecting to be able to pick up. That result. We're now ahead of Liverpool. Uh, so that's a thing that's happening. We are now ahead of Liverpool in the league table. Every point matters. It's also not... Okay, what's this? It's an ankle, which is the worst thing in the world, but it is annoying. All right, this is some of you work with. This is an offer for Yasin Uzkan that we can at least work with. 
for destination will be Lawns instead of AC Milan. That's new. It says forty million with a pro uh, profit thing. Please don't just. I think Saudi Arabia is a myth. Can I get the Chelsea treatment where like every while well, all of my players with big wages just get vacuumed up? Like Saudi Arabia is a myth at this point. Where where are they? Let's shut some people up, baby. I do have average leadership support, though, which is nice. You know, we're still unbeaten since we took over. We're at New High Art Lane, where we've put out some really good performances. Hopefully, we can pick up three points in this game. Just getting wins against the teams we should be getting wins against, right? There's this giant crowd of teams, so every time you can get three points, that really adds to it. I'm scared of you, Hakan Haroldson. I could buy a whole new player for what I'm about to have to friggin' pay out for you to just stay on this team. Which does not sound fun, Hakan Haroldson. Oh my god. 91 million for that guy. 91 million for that guy. That is scary bad pass there. Actually, very unusual. Uh, for the way we've played so far, but we're just getting bad ratings from our guys up front. Oh, my God. Oh, that's sick. Audern. Oh, yeah. I love it. Nicholas Audern. 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 Aldrin! Oh, Seca. Hello. Constantelius. Aldrin Kulazewski in on goal. Dear Lord, man. Wasn't glamorous. We missed a few obvious chances, but we did win. That's what matters. We're bringing winning back to Tottenham. That's what we're doing. Wants the new deal to reflect disability. Um, you know, I'm going to loan him in. They want the optional future fee of $222 million. What if I don't do that? What if I just bring him in on loan and we just play? Are we cool with that? What if I don't pay you $222 million, I just pay you the $2.2 million for a playing loan for the rest of the season? Sergio Luis is now playing for Newcastle. I hate it here. <laughs> I wanted that. You know, I, I'm very happy to be at Tottenham, and we're getting good results. I mean, it's we don't want to lose track of the fact the whole point here is to get good results in the field, and we are doing that. But hold on. Give me a second. That's 85. That's not bad. 85 million for a 23-year-old Hendrick. That's really not bad at all. Let me cook. Hi, Hendrik. You want to play for me? Is more interested in playing at Nice. What is that? I want a little bit more of an incentive-laden contract. We know we're going to have to negotiate really hard here. He just moved a lot. Best we could get, 10.9 million. Total impact of 13.7 million. We're also signing Indrik from Real Madrid, so... Yes! 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 Yeah, yes, yes. Yes. Looks like I'm leaving there. Okay, dude, I am... Yeah, dude, yeah. Nobody wants you. What do you even mean? What are you like... What? 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 Uh, what? I'm gonna lose my mind, man. Oh, I'm gonna lose my mind. Oh, that makes me feel so much better. This is a ridiculous signing. Vittorio Zanini on loan to the end of the season. Guy is an unbelievable player. I don't know why they're letting him go on loan. He's, go he's going through some sort of, like, dispute about playing time, but he's just an insane player.